Good morning. It's always nice to say good morning to you as we kick off another edition of 3 Plus U, focusing on things happening locally right here in the Tennessee Valley. And boy, are we getting local as we start things this morning. We're taking you out to East Ridge, or East Ridge has come to us. Cameron McAllister and Tori Holder both grew up in East Ridge. They were friends in high school. At least you went to high school together. Yeah, <laughs> And absolutely. now here you are both working for the city. Yes. Good to see you. Thank you. you. Well. And you're very uh, thrilled because you're gearing up for a cleanup day. Absolutely. Which might sound to some people like not much to thrill you, but you're getting massive response from we people, are. Cameron. We are. So essentially what we're doing is we've partnered with the East Church City um, Chamber of Commerce. So it's actually not a city uh, sponsored event. It's mm -hmm. a partnership with the East Church Chamber. Okay. And so essentially what we're looking to do is reach compliance for residential and commercial properties. And with that said, we want to reach out to all community members, not just East Church citizens, mm -hmm. to come and join us for the day and really just hang out, have some community involvement, some community engagement, and some, spend some time in the city to get some things cleaned up. Well, if you're watching, uh, no matter where you are in the viewing area, chances are you've been to Eastridge. You've Absolutely. either been to Camp Jordan to enjoy a, an event there or take your dog for a walk at the park. Uh, now you've got the stadium, the soccer stadium we right do. there. Um, so it is really a multi-use area, it is. which means a lot of us are making it maybe in need of some cleanup. So yes. only fair that we all contribute. Right, right. Uh, the timing though, the cleanup day is at the end of June, Tori. Yes, ma'am. But we're fast approaching the deadline to sign up. Yes, ma'am. Um, so the last day to sign up will be this Friday, June the 2nd. Um, and I want to say at 4.30, I believe, is when we're going to close the application. So is it a typical cleanup day? You were telling me, Cameron, this was kind of something you did some research on. Right. And you've orchestrated it very well. So um, I can't take all the credit. Um, I have to give some credit to the Eastridge Chamber of Commerce. They've done a great job of facilitating this event and helping us uh, set up some programming. And we've looked around within our local community and then some of our sister cities uh, further north and west in the state of Tennessee. And this was one thing that was a really good promoted event and had a ton of turnout. And so we wanted to be able to come up with a, a similar event in Eastridge. And we were able to create an online registration forum and that allows citizens and community members who are interested in volunteering to click on the QR code, scan that QR code with their smartphone. And then there is a questionnaire online that will ask them some basic contact information, uh, possible skill sets, any equipment that they may be willing to bring, mm -hmm. and then any other additional participants that may attend with them. So what does it look like when they come out on the morning of June 24th after signing up? What are they going to do? Absolutely. So registration, sign-in, check-in, um, that begins at 7 a.m. at East Church Community Center. And so what we would like to do is have everyone there 7, 715. We do have sponsors for this event, so we will provide breakfast at sign-in, and then we will hand out some equipment, uh, basic sunscreen, bug spray, grabbers, trash bags, things like that, in a bag that was provided uh, by one of our sponsors as well. Mm -hmm. And then we will send them out to their designated zones that uh, Tori and her team have worked hard on creating. And then we will regather around 12 p.m. We will also be providing lunch at checkout and then um, each participant and volunteer will receive a t-shirt nice. that says Eastridge Cleanup Day 2023. So let's talk about those zones Tori because Eastridge is a large area. It is it's, it's grown especially being someone who's grown up in that city. Um, so I'm in the building and codes division. So a lot of times when I go out every day to do my daily duties, I see different areas of the city that could use some love and some help. Um, and essentially that's what my team and I've done is looked at all of our areas mm -hmm. in general and decided, you know, maybe this would be a good spot to work. Right. Um, just because either it's just been neglected over years or it just needs some little love. Is everything going to be trash pickup only or are there opportunities like to paint or Absolutely. beautify? So we are currently working on trying to find some residential properties that may be in need of minor exterior repairs. 
Um, we do have some supplies that would be on hand in case we come across a property mm -hmm. and the property owner would be interested in the assistance. Uh -huh. But initially, cleanup day is going to be for bulk brush and trash. And just don't forget that, again, no matter where you are watching, uh, East Ridge and the cleanliness of it is important because Chickamauga Creek is right there. Mm -hmm. Right. And anything that flows into the creek eventually flows down Absolutely. Uh, to where you live. So we're all linked together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the deadline to sign up is this Friday, mm -hmm. June 2nd. Correct. So we've got the QR code for you. If you've got your smartphone with you as you watch, you can uh, scan it right there. You also can go onto their website, which is eastridgetn.gov. June 24th is the date of the cleanup, but June 2nd is your deadline to do it. And I will mention that if anyone is interested in volunteering for this event, but may, be able, may not be able to attend for June 24th, we will be hosting the Tennessee River Rescue in the first Saturday of October. Excellent. Thank you both so much. Thank you for having Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you. We're back after this. A 